Uh, hello, my name is Jennifer Richardson and I'm a social psychologist at Yale University. My research largely examines how everyday people think about their social world. So for instance, I might think of myself most days, at least most days here on campus, as a professor because that's what I do and I think about my interactions with students. I often, however, think about myself in terms of other categories like my race or my gender or that I'm a wife. It's this, these questions about how our social categories or when we're thinking about ourselves as different social categories, how that shapes our behavior, our judgments, our attitudes, not only about other people like us, but all the people out there who are not like us or who don't share these categories. And this is largely the psychology of intergroup relations. That's what I do. So sometimes the questions that we ask are simply, does it matter whether or not I think of myself in a certain category, let's say, as a person of color or a black person, does that matter for how I might think about the news or think about what's happening here at Yale or how I might relate to all kinds of sort of international questions, the economy? A lot of the work we do, however, investigates how these social categories shape how we think about all kinds of conflicts that seem to be emergent in our society. So rising economic inequality, for instance. How do people think about this and do their own categories? So for instance, if you make more money or less money or you're wealthier or poorer, does that shape how you think about or at least reason about this gulf in the economy that seems to have emerged? A lot of our work tries to not just document or examine where these gulfs or divides exist, but also how can we repair them? How can we bring people back together to think about themselves according to some common identity? So if it happens to be the case that I'm thinking of myself more as a black American, or I'm concerned about what might be happening to other black Americans, surely this might inform how I approach my day or how I approach the world. And this is true for people no matter what their racial category. Of course, we could also think of ourselves as Americans and you know, emphasize the American or the common identity. And one of the questions that uh, we study in our lab and, my, with, and I do with my students, so I study with my students, is how can we help people to not to abandon their sort of more unique or smaller category, so in this case their specific racial group membership, but how can they, while also holding that and their traditions and cultures uh, close to them, how can they also reach out and bridge the, the gaps that seem to have developed, right? So how can we think of ourselves both as our racial group memberships, perhaps, or religious memberships, perhaps, or our regional memberships, um, so Southern, Northeastern, you know, West Coast, East Coast, how can we think about ourselves in these ways while also thinking of ourselves in some common way as Americans, for instance, in, in the service of bringing the country together, having more positive attitudes, and having more productive conversations about how the country as a whole can be doing better and people can grow and thrive and enjoy the principles and freedoms that this country is founded on.